Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to downgrade the firmware on your iPod Touch, your iPhone, as well as on your iPad. So guys, this is a very, very simple tutorial. The process shouldn't take you any time at all. It's very, very simple. Um, but I've had a ton of requests, a lot of people asking how to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, before we do begin, however, there's just one thing I do want to mention. Now, to do this, you will have either needed to save your SHSH blobs manually in the past, uh, so basically, if maybe if you use firmware umbrella or something similar, if you already have your SHSH blob saved on the computer, so if you have that, you're all set. Um, otherwise, you will have had to have jailbroken on some earlier version of iOS. So odds are, if you've jailbroken, Cydia went ahead, if you hit the Make My Life Easier button when you first got City and you first jailbroke, odds are that City already has your SHSH blob. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do both methods. It's both is very simple. And if you're not sure if City did save it, again, I'll show you how to even check for that too. So let's go ahead and just show you how to do it. Okay, so to begin with, all we need to do is download a very simple program called the Firmware Umbrella. Um, I'm a big fan of this program. It's very lightweight. You don't need to install anything. And it works really quite well. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. Um, so to begin with, let's go ahead and just download it. Just come to the firmwareumbrella.blogspot.com. And I, of course, will have the link to in the description right below this video. Um, so just come right down here, and there are some links right here on the right side. So you can go ahead and download it for Mac, Windows, as well as Linux. So go ahead and just uh, download it to whatever you want, and then let's go ahead and just show you how it works. Okay, so now that you have the program, go ahead and just open it up and plug in your iPod, iPhone, or iPad, whatever you're looking to downgrade. Okay. So this is a very simple process. Let me just go ahead and walk you through it. Basically, there are two different ways. Now, if you've used this program before and you've already saved your SHSH blobs, then it should be no problem. All you need to do is just to make sure that you, that you know what you have. Just click Display SHSHs. Okay, so as you can see here, these are the ones I already have on my computer. So odds are, if you've, uh, if you've used this program before, you'll at least see a couple of firmwares in here. So, for example, I can safely downgrade to any of these, no problem. Okay. Now, if you've never used this program before, this will be blank, so it's no big deal. Okay. So now let's say, I'm going to go ahead and just pick something random. Let's say you're, you have an iPhone 3GS, um, and the last time you jailbroke was on iOS 4, just, just 4.0. Okay. So to go ahead and check, all you need to do is click Advanced Options. Then it's request version. Okay, so all you need to do is just go through here and pick out whatever device you have. So it's iPad, iPhone, whatever. So of course I do have the iPhone 2G. And then I can go ahead and just look through here. And the last time I was jailbroken was on 4.0 and 4.0.2. So basically what you do is, let's say you go ahead 4.0.2. So now you hit save my SHSH and it will go ahead and give it just a minute and it will check City if it has it. Now if it does, it will download and you'll be all set. If it doesn't, for whatever reason, all you need to do is just go back and find a different version of the firmware, so example 4.0, and see, and keep going until Cydia has saved that blob. So I know, guys, this can be a little bit complicated, and I know this is where a lot of you guys do run into tr trouble, but it's not that big a deal. Just go ahead, pick out your device, and then go ahead and go to whatever firmware you were last jailbroken on. So, like I said, m odds are most of you guys, it's going to be 4.0 or 4.0.1. So just pick out that firmware, and there's a pretty good chance that City will have it. And to make sure, all you need to do is just come over here to Display SHSHs, and then after you're done saving, it should pop up saying, you know, 4.0 or whatever you just saved, okay? So as soon as you're done with that, then we're pretty much done. So all you need to do is just come over here, click Start TSS Server. So as soon as you've done this, you're all set up to go ahead and restore your device to whatever sort of firmware that you were looking for. Okay, so now all you need to do is just go ahead and open up iTunes. Uh, so obviously with your device still plugged in, uh, you should get the screen now telling you everything about it. So at this point, it's very, very simple. All you need to do is go ahead and restore to whatever firmware that you have the SHSH. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and pick 4.0.2, although obviously what, for whatever you downloaded, you'll have that. So with a Mac, you go ahead and hit Option, and you hold, you hold the Option key and click and left-click Restore. For a Windows computer, you, ho you hold the Shift key and hit Restore. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Instead of just restoring automatically, we'll go ahead and open up a uh, thing so that you can pick out your own firmware. So let's go ahead and go through here and pick the 4. Uh, where we go? There we go, 4.0.2. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and now it'll go ahead and just go ahead and just hit Restore. So now, as you can see here, it will give just a minute, and then it'll actually, instead of asking Apple if that's okay to do it, it will use Tiny Umbrella. So instead of you know having any issues or any errors, it should work just fine. So hang on, I'm going to go ahead and give this a minute to go ahead and load, and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. So there you go, guys. I took about you know 10, 15 minutes to go ahead and sync all my stuff over. But after that, no problem at all. So guys, hopefully that helped you out. Um, now, about the only thing I was not able to show is downloading the actual firmware files. 
Um, now for that, it's very, very simple. Just go ahead and just Google whatever you need. So, you know, you need iPod Touch, second generation, 4.0.2, whatever you need. Uh, you can go ahead and just uh, just Google it and it'll be no big deal. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Um, and of course, if you're still on 4.1, for whatever reason, you were not able to go ahead and do this. Uh, maybe your city didn't have your SH, SH blobs or you never jailbroke them before. Uh, don't worry, there will be a 4.1 jailbreak in the fairly near future, maybe you know, it, it, it within it within a little while. So you know, you're not going to be stuck on 4.1 and not being able to jailbreak forever. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching.